Okay, so there's no use in having this wonderful appliance virtual machine that's going to download all of your stuff, that's going to do all of these things, but isn't able to um, talk to your Unraid array, right? So um, I have installed NFS um, and Samba into this appliance so that you can communicate to Unraid over either of those protocols. I recommend NFS as it has the lowest overhead and is um, using the AutoFS package uh, to do some auto configuration. It's pretty nifty, it's pretty neat. Um, I'm gonna show you how it works now. So get logged in via SSH, via console, doesn't matter, to your appliance. Then what we want to do is um, find out what the mounts are that are available from our Unraid server. We do that by typing in the name of our server into this show mount command. What that does is it shows us we've got the cache uh, share that I showed you when I set up earlier and the uh, the actual data, which is the array. Uh, it can be whatever, it doesn't really matter. Um, just an example. So how do we connect to this? It's very simple. Using the auto FS thing that I've already set up, it's actually gonna already connect. So um, go to C CD into this directory cd net and then type the name of your unraid server tower and then literally finish the path off like that and then there you are you have uh, you have literally just connected over nfs to your unraid server now you can use sab nzbd uh, to um, put files in onto the array this way using that path, same with Plex, same with OwnCloud, anything else that you install, it's really simple and uh, automated and it's already set up as part of the image uh, for you. Hope that helps.